Dr. Miles Monroe said something as I get ready to close. He said that the wealthiest place on planet Earth is not the diamond mines of South Africa. He said the wealthiest place on planet Earth are not the oil fields of Kuwait. He says the wealthiest place on Earth is the cemetery. Because there in the cemetery, you will find books that were never written. Doctors that never entered a doctor's office. Preachers that never stepped into a pulpit. Politicians that never ran for office. Fortune 500 CEOs that never entered an office building. Why? Because the wealthiest place is the cemetery because that's where most of the dreams are buried. I almost want to add one to it. Because not only is the wealthiest place on the planet the cemetery, the other most wealthiest place on the planet is the correctional facility. Because when you were supposed to be out there building that company, being that great entrepreneur, that amazing talent, some of you in this room could have been in the NBA. You could have been in the NFL. You could have been a doctor, a lawyer. I want to ask you tonight, are you going to die with your wealth in you? Are you going to take what God put on the inside of you to the grave with you? Or are you going to tell God, I realize tonight that I was created for something greater. Show me who I am and I'll use the rest of my life getting it out of me. Because you don't have to get out before you start giving what you got on the inside of you. You can start right here at the Telford unit. You can start right here with a book. You can start right here with a computer. You can start right here going to school. You can start right here educating yourself. You can start right here writing a business plan. You can start right here honing your craft. You can start right here writing out sermons. You can start right here. Because I got good news for you. We're about to see a massive prison break in these last days. Because if you'll get in God's will, he will supernaturally get you out of here so that you can get back in the path that God has for your life. I'm not promising you that it's going to happen overnight, but I'm telling you, if you get on God's path, he's got favor for you. You ain't ever seen in your life. Anybody in here still got a dream that I'm getting up out of here? I don't know how, but God's going to make a way for me. If I will just give him my life, if I just get back in his will, if I just get back in his plan, God's going to favor some of y'all to get back in his destiny. But ain't no use you praying for God to give you favor with the parole board only for you to get out and come right back in here. You got to get it right. And I feel like in this room tonight, there's some brothers ready to get it right. Who am I preaching to? I've wasted enough substance. I've wasted enough time. I've wasted enough integrity. I've done my thing. I found out it wasn't nothing to all of it. And now I'm ready to come to myself. Fellas, close your eyes with me. Tonight is a defining moment for you. 
Some of you been asleep a long time, but tonight is your wake-up call. Tonight is the night everything changes. Because tonight I didn't just preach to you a message just to be born again. I came to tell you after you get born again, God wants to release you into your destiny. God wants to show you who you are. God's got plans for you. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts of good. You've got an expected end. You've got a destiny over your life. Don't rob us. Don't rob us of your gift. Don't rob us of your anointing. Don't rob us of your talent. Don't rob us of your destiny. There's greatness in you. And no matter how shifty you've been in your life, unstable you've been, I came to tell you like Jesus told Peter, there's a rock on the inside of you. There's a man on the inside of you. There's a father, there's a husband on the inside of you. And tonight he's coming out. Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you that you and you alone can reveal to them what you created them to be. Father, tonight we say, here I am. Here we are. And I want you just for a moment to have a conversation with the Father. I want you to just have a conversation. I want you to tell the Lord how I'm tired of running. How I wasted my substance. But I'm coming back home. That today I come to myself. I want my identity. I want my destiny. And I want my legacy. Now men, some of you have never made a decision to give your life to him. Number two, some of you have given your life to him, but you've kind of strayed away. And then number three, some of you have given your life to him, but you've yet to hear him tell you who you are. You've yet to have your purpose and your destiny revealed to you so that you can get on the path of purpose for your life. If you fall in all three of those categories, I'm just going to ask you to raise your hand right now. I want to get to know the Lord. Number two, I already know the Lord, but, but I haven't been walking with him like I should. I've been kind of backslidden. I'm still saved, but but I've, I've yielded in some areas. And number three, tonight, Father, show me who I am. Show me what I was born for, and I will do your will. Now the Father sees you. Right now, repeat this after me. Father, I come to you. Repeat it after me. I come to you. You know everything about me. I'm not hiding nothing. I repent of my sin and I ask you to come into my heart and change me. Jesus, thank you. Come on, tell him, say, Jesus, thank you for forgiving me and for waiting on me. Tonight, I come to myself and tonight, I'm coming home. Lift your hands and thank him for it. Thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his grace. Whoa. Now listen to me. Listen to me. When he came back home, the father didn't want to talk about nothing he did. 
He didn't want to hear about what he had did, how much he had done. He said, come on back in here because you're still my son. You might have done some things, men. It's not to minimize it. You might have done some horrible things in your life. But can I tell you why God forgives you? Because it wasn't you. So from here on out, that man is dead. That man is gone. That man is buried. Tonight I'm stepping into the Peter of who I really am. And so forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are ahead. Men, go chase your destiny. There's a king on the inside of you. Brothers, I love you. God bless you. Run all the way. Run all the way.